religious beliefs have to be changed. And we will conquer Rome. Welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Have you ever gotten one of those texts that when you look at it, you go, huh? Someone either fat fingered something or some stupid autocorrect actually uncorrected what the person meant to say, leaving you going, what? Then there's the never ending stream of miscommunication, a text that seems rude, but the person actually meant it as a joke or they meant to be direct, and you, unaccustomed to anyone actually speaking directly these days, blew it off, angering them even more as they now think you're more of a jerk than you were before when they sent you the original text. Ah, the glory of indirect communication, or the lack of nonverbals, the easy to misunderstand words, and so forth. Then there are all those emoticons or emojis where a weird little face or animation pops up in your phone, and you don't have the slightest idea either what it means or why someone is sending it to you or responding to you with it. You need answers or clarity, and all you get back is that little yellow dumb face winking at you. This same phenomenon is going on in the church these days by the liberals and the modernist crowd. They are masters at miscommunicating or saying one thing to one crowd and something completely different to a different crowd. They actually have degrees in this specialty, it seems, because they're so darn good at it. And the never-ending stream of lack of clarity is doing terrific damage to the church. It happens with our loved ones, our friends, our family, whoever. It certainly happens to society as a whole, but it happens to society as a whole precisely because it has first occurred in the church. The reason it has occurred in the church is because too many are too concerned about everything else except the main mission, which of, which of course is salvation. This past weekend, His Eminence Cardinal Raymond Burke underscored some of these points at a gathering at the Shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in La Crosse, Wisconsin, where he used to be the ordinary. Also present was His Excellency Archbishop Salvatore Cordelioni of San Francisco, who has done a manful job of battling the West Coast wackos, who unfortunately are no longer contained to just the West Coast. The modernists in the church have their fingers on the text, ready to keep confusing people and sending out unclear messages and a crazy little happy face every now and then. For example, speaking of words, they have stated their desire that the church change not only its disciplines, but also its actual vocabulary. Various cardinals and bishops are on record publicly as saying we no longer want to speak of issues like adultery because that kind of language isn't helpful, their words. Well, sure it is. Adultery means someone is committing adultery. There, perfectly clear. But a text from a modernist churchman might read something like, on mercy mission to maritally challenged. And when you text back, huh? You get a smiley face. The desire to be unclear is a hallmark of the modernist crowd. You can get away with a lot of mischief, diabolical mischief, by being deliberately vague. This is a hallmark of modernist liberals that the Church of Nice has, for the most part, unwittingly adopted. The modernist use of vagaries is intended for evil. The Church of Nice use of vagaries is ordered not to offend. Both are wrong. One crowd is evil-minded, the other is just stupid. Our blessed Lord spoke in very clear, uncertain, unambiguous terms when he approached the subject of hell and souls being damned. Never a doubt about what he meant, until von Balthasar got a hold of his words. But assorted cardinals and bishops are all too happy to muddy the waters, are all too happy to condemn those who speak clearly and with a clarion call. This constant, wishy-washy, mealy-mouth, never clear exactly what you mean approach is just like those texts that hit your phone daily. In the end, you just give up and call the person and say, I don't understand your text, what are you talking about? That works in the day-to-day -day world, but in the intrigue of political ambitions and nefarious undertakings and a secret desire to refashion the church, you can bet that is a phone call you can make that will go straight to voicemail and never get returned. God love you, I'm Michael Voris.